just wanted to give a little intro to this video before I start. I realize that uh, when I make my videos, I do seem to talk a lot. So if you guys just want the quick and short answer, I'm going to let you know right now that cloud mining is a better option in my opinion right now uh, because of the factors I'm going to state later in the video. If you guys are interested in getting a cloud mining contract, uh, you can use the link down below in the description to go to Genesis Mining and select the option that's best for you. Um, other than that, stick around for the rest of the video if you want to hear about the different factors uh, and why cloud mining is better than regular mining. I promise you it's worth your time and it's going to give you some insight if you're really considering spending a lot of money uh, investing into cryptocurrencies. It's definitely worth it to listen to the whole video. That being said, I'll let the video play and if you guys enjoy, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between cloud mining and regular mining. So using hardware and your own computer hardware uh, to mine different cryptocurrency. This video, we're specifically going to be talking about mining Ethereum and doing a comparison on that. Uh, but this is going to apply to the different mining here on Genesis Mining. So Bitcoin, Dash, Litecoin, Monero, Zcash, etc. The reason I'm not doing it on those is because for Dash, you can see here it's all sold out. Litecoin sold out, Monero sold out. The only other one that's available right now is Zcash and Bitcoin. Uh, oh, Bitcoin sold out as well. Didn't even see that. So it just makes sense for me to do this on Ethereum as I have other videos on my channel about Ethereum already and how to mine that currency. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three main factors that we need to consider before we can decide which is better. And the first one is going to be price. So that's how much our upfront cost is and how much it's going to cost us to maintain this uh, and to keep mining in the future. The second one is going to be profit. So arguably the most important, how much money are we really making on this and how long is it going to take us to make our money back? The third one is time. Now this isn't one that a lot of people look at, uh, but for me it's very important having experience building my own mining rig. Uh, building your own mining rig can be extremely time consuming. So we're going to talk about some of the issues with that. And then the fourth factor I'm going to talk about is a smaller factor and it's just going to be maintenance. Uh, so how you're fixing it, issues you can run into. Uh, and so on. So let's get right into the video with uh, number one, price. How much does cloud mining cost and how much does it cost to build our own mining rig? So cloud mining is easy here. You can see to mine at 40 mega hash per second, it's going to be costing us about $1,500. And this is going to be the one that I start at looking, uh, I start looking at here uh, on Genesis Mining. Now this is going to vary depending on what website you're on. The reason I chose Genesis Mining is because this is the most popular mining website, so I figured I'd do it on this. All right, so that's easy, $1,500 about for 40 mega hashes per second mining Ethereum over two years. Now, something to note here is that if Ethereum does go to proof of stake, then it's going to just start mining a different coin. You can see here, most profitable coin uh, with the hardware that you've leased. So you're not going to be losing out if... Uh, all of a sudden, Ethereum changes the way that it is mined or it is confirmed or whatever. All right, now for the harder part, uh, building your own system. So I'm just on PC Part Picker here. Now, it's hard to do this on this website because a lot of the parts and things you want to buy are going to be priced differently depending on where you get them from. And availability is always a huge issue, uh, especially with graphics cards nowadays because it's very difficult to get them. So we can start here. Uh, I'm just the CPU I picked here is just very bare bones. It's a dual core Intel Celeron, 53 bucks, cheapest one I could find. Uh, motherboard, $120. Uh, we don't need to be able to overclock. And I'm, I think we're using 7th gen Intel here uh, for 1151. This has six PCI lanes, so up to six uh, GPUs in this system. Four gigabytes of RAM, cheapest RAM I could find. It's still very expensive compared to what it used to be, but that's one I found. Uh, SSD, 70 bucks is a reliable SSD. I didn't want to go with anything that was like 30 bucks because those aren't very reliable and we don't want to use those. And all this is going to do is store our operating system and mining software. All right, GPU. Now this is going to be, uh, this is going to vary depending on what GPU you pick. The one that I picked here was just a 1060 six gigabyte uh, because I know this card gets about 18 to 19 mega hashes per second. So two of these is going to compare to our 40 mega hash per second that we have on the mining, which is what I'm trying to do. Um, so it won't actually allow me to add a second one for some reason. So we're just going to have to factor that into the price. And then I went for a 1200 watt power supply. I know this is very overkill, but this is just for expansion and the platinum is very important so that we're going to be saving money on electricity. All right. So now we have 
$976. This is before we add in the price of a second graphics card. So now we're looking at about $1,400 uh, plus tax, plus shipping, uh, etc. So with all of that, uh, we're probably looking at about $1,500 to build our mining rig. And that's also we need a PCI riser. So $1,500 is a very reasonable price. You can see we're looking at almost the exact same price as our uh, cloud binding over here, which is, I don't know, good start. Now for the second factor, profit. Now this again is arguably the most important factor as this is how much money we are going to be making. Now, as both of our rigs are mining at 40 mega hash per second, you would think that that means we are making the same amount of profit. Uh, but that is incorrect. That means we are going to make the same amount of revenue uh, before factoring our in our costs. Now, with Genesis Mining, we have zero costs because we don't have to pay to maintain anything. Uh, we don't have to pay for power. We don't have to pay for any software or anything. Whereas with our own rig, we are paying for power, which is the main cost. So mining at 40 mega hash per second with zero power consumption uh, gives us about $940 every year. So if we multiply that by two, that means we're now sitting at about $1,880, I believe, um, over the two years. So that means we've made about $300 profit, $300 and what, $60 profit, which is not bad at all. Uh, for an initial investment of $1,500, especially with very low risk, uh, which I'm going to talk about in one of the next factors there. So now we need to uh, factor in power consumption. Now this is going to depend on how much power your rig is consuming, obviously, uh, but the rig over here that we have with two GPUs, each GPU runs at about 100 watts, uh, overclocked, maybe 110 watts, maybe 120 watts. So we're going to be I don't know, let's say it runs at about 450 watts. All right, 450 watts for our system. This might be low, this might be high. Um, I don't really know what to tell you, but depending on how many GPUs you have and how efficient your system is, then just put anywhere between like 400 and 600 watts. It's not gonna make a huge difference. That means we're gonna be making about $625 uh, a year. And that's if we're paying about eight cents per kilowatt hour, which is extremely low. So that means if you live somewhere in the States, probably where you're paying about eight cents per kilowatt hour, um, you're making $625 off your initial investment of about $1,500. Um, so you can see that it is, you're not making your money back within two years. It's going to take longer than two years until you make your whole profit back or your whole investment back. Now, if we even bump this up to about 0.12 here, uh, which is about what I pay for power in, uh, in Canada, then you can see our profit continues to go down. So already we're looking at uh, cloud mining as being a better alternative to regular mining just for the profit alone. Now, this was the small plan too, right? So if we had bumped up to the medium plan, we're gonna be making more profit uh, just because when you buy in bulk, they're giving you a better deal on the mega hash per second. So you can see, I'll just show you if I put in 120 mega hash per second. Now you can see if we're paying zero power, we're making about $2,800 a year, uh, which gives us about $5,600 over two years after paying about $4,400, which gives us about a $1,200 profit, uh, which is very good for an initial investment of $4,400. Now that's profit. You can see clearly that our cloud mining is making us more money than uh, mining with a system that we've built. And we haven't even brought in the third factor yet, which is time. So now it's time to talk about time. So pretty much if you're building your own rig, that means that you're going to have to do a lot of research and spend a lot of time figuring out what parts you need to buy, where you're going to get them from, how you can get them for ch the cheapest and how long they're going to be working for. Because if you're running a GPU uh, for 24 seven, every single day of the year, then eventually it's going to be degrading and it's going to either decrease in performance or just die eventually, right? So there's a lot of things you need to do. You also need to be familiar with computer hardware, meaning you have to know that the uh, g the processor that you buy is going to fit in the motherboard that you buy, uh, which seems easy, but is r more difficult than it looks. You have to make sure that all your parts are going to work together. You also have to build a case uh, or you can buy a case, but if you're buying a case, that's another extra cost. Personally, when I had my mining rig, I just built a wooden case, uh, cost me like 10 bucks from the hardware store, 
uh, and it worked well for what I need it for. But if you don't know how to do that, uh, again, that's going to take time and even more money. And now you have to worry about issues you're going to run into, which kind of brings me into the fourth step as well. These two kind of merge together. When you're making your own mining rig, there's a lot, a ton of issues you're going to run into. Now, you're you may have the issue where you can't even start mining Ethereum alone. So if you had, if anyone had watched my uh, video on how to mine Ethereum for beginners, you can see there's tons of comments of people saying, this isn't working, I'm having an issue with my GPU, why is the fan so loud, whatever. Just tons of different comments because uh, people are running into issues. And that's when they're only trying to mine with one GPU. Now imagine throwing in two or three GPUs uh, and having them all working together using the PCI risers is not a not an easy task and personally when I built my own mining rig it took me about I'd say a month before I really had it running at full capacity now you're also dealing with overclocking uh, you're dealing with issues with network maybe your internet's cutting out there's lots of things you're gonna run into that you're not gonna run into if you're cloud mining so the moral of the story here is that cloud mining it's just a better alternative today. Maybe a few months ago, it might have been cheaper to build your own rig and start mining with that. But especially if you're a beginner and you don't know a lot about computer hardware, it's going to be a better idea to be cloud mining, uh, paying this money up front. You're going to make a better profit. And especially if we look at the price of Ethereum here, we're at an all time low right now, 860. We're not going to see the price go much lower than this. At least I hope we don't see it go much lower than this. So if you hold on to your Ethereum and you wait and you ride it back up to $1,200 or whatever it was before, about $1,300, then you're going to be making even more profits either way that you're mining. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit about cloud mining and actual mining. I know everything that I did here is not perfect uh, and that a lot of you are probably going to say, well, oh, there's other factors to look into, but this is just trying to give people an idea if cloud mining is worth it because personally when I first started looking at cloud mining I was like whoa this is absolutely ridiculous but really it's almost a better deal or it is a better deal in my opinion than building your own mining rig so if you guys like the video please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next one